This is Lynn. She's afraid of things, like spiders, dogs, swans and bats. She doesn't like caves, she's afraid of heights, and anybody wearing masks. She's scared of swimming, she's crap with heights, and sometimes all these little fears, they make her seem quite comical. A friend's mum says she's like a deer that's being hunted, always jumping back and forth throughout her life from hordes of such tremendous nothing. I mean, for example, once she tried some beetroot, she really liked it. She sat there, started pigging out. A few hours later, when it's time to have a wee, she's sitting down, and all throughout the house, a screamer wailed to make her banshee shrink. That beetroot meant that when Lynn peed, the pee that Lynn had made was pink, and I, I thought that it was blood, she cries. We laugh, she starts regaling me with the scramble for the taxi number, the time she spent in A&E, and we all know that it's funny, right, to hear her reenact those screams, but we also know that hospitals are places Lynn has also been for visits with her son most weeks. It's been years since he was diagnosed. There's been blood tests, chemo, radiograms without one scream, and I suppose that darkness, heights, and masks and stuff that make you jump or make you scream, they're a lot of fun, but they don't mean much when you're measuring someone's bravery.